Hi guys, it's Jen Maher, and today I want to talk to you about the menu block feature within Squarespace. So even if you don't have a restaurant or a smoothie shop or something like that, please keep watching because this will still apply to you if you offer any type of product, services, anything along those lines. The menu block can be a great feature. So um, I am going to share my computer screen with you and just kind of give you a little glimpse into it. So basically, it's just a standard block. I created kind of a blank page in my website, but obviously, just like any other block that you edit and add content in in Squarespace, you can put it anywhere. So here is my blank page. I simply go to edit. I am going to add a new block. So add a block. Um, I am going to scroll down until I find menu, which is in the more section. And what you'll see is that I have, you know, the menu here in my main section, which is this is where we normally edit content in Squarespace. We're not going to do that in this, in this instance. It's going to be similar to like the form, but we're going to be editing it here in this little kind of pop-up window. So what you'll notice is that they've already designed and formatted this for you. You're welcome to kind of customize, but I would highly, highly recommend just to keep it as it is and update it and, and kind of tweak it so that it's unique to what you need. So just stay in here, that's my recommendation. You can see that I've got meals here and meals over here. So you kind of can already tell sandwiches, sandwiches. Um, if I scroll down, I'll see another heading that says pasta, pasta. You can kind of see how things are gonna be organized just by the way that they formatted it. And then think about in terms of your own business, how you think that you could use their own unique way of doing it and customize it, tweak it for yourself. So. For instance, let's say that I offer both massages and products. So I'm going to make this one say massages. And then my first heading will be full service. I'm just going to tweak it to say full service. Oops. And then my first full service massage will be a hot stone. I can then come in and change. Obviously, we don't need to say smoked turkey, brie, which sounds really good right now, by the way. But um, we will just make our description here, whatever you want to say about your hot stone massage. And then obviously, you're going to put your pricing in. And you would just continue to do that for all of the full service items. Let's say that I only have two full service, or let's say that I have more. Let's say I have six. In that case, I can just, if I know I need three more, I'm going to highlight these three, copy them. Come down here, enter, enter, and then I will just paste. Now you'll see that I have six options here that I can edit. If I only need two of them, then I can just delete all of these, and I will end up with just these two. So it's very easy just to kind of customize and change. So pasta is actually not gonna be pasta, but I need another heading down here. So I've got full service. Now I'm going to make this one say express. Oops. And maybe this would be where I have things like, okay, this is going to be a foot massage. And you basically just continue to edit very similar. Let's say that you actually have, so I've got drinks here on the next side. I'm going to go ahead and change the drinks to be products. Oops. And then obviously I've got all of these areas down here that I can change. Let's say that I actually need three headings. So I know that massages, products, I know where these all are and how to, that they're basically kind of their own page. So all I have to do is go to products. I can copy this entire section, come down here to the very bottom, enter a couple of times, and now paste. And now you'll see that I have two products sections. So this last one, I can change and have it say, um, oh gosh, I don't even, I can't even think of what else. We'll just, I don't know. Call it um, menu again because my brain's not creative right now. You'll have to bear with me. But you can kind of understand what I'm saying. That you're going to have like maybe you have three different options of, of menu items that you'd like to share with people, products, services, etc. So after you you're done, you just hit apply and save. Your customers, clients are going to be able to come in and just click on each of these areas and see what you offer. It's a fantastic way to kind of showcase your um, product services in a nice, easy to read format. Um, if I've already created this for you and you need to edit or change something, it's so easy. All you have to do is click edit. You're going to edit the menu. 
And rather than editing over here like you would for standard content, you're just gonna come over on this side. So let's say I no longer offer the hot stone. I can either just delete the whole thing or I don't offer the hot stone, but now I offer, um, oh my gosh, uh, Swedish. So I will just type that in here and then change my description, change my pricing, and then just hit apply. If you completely mess up, you're in here and you accidentally hit something and you don't know what you did and it changes everything, don't panic. Just hit cancel, discard your changes, everything's back to normal. Um, and again, over here too, you can either save or hit cancel, either way. So here's a great example of a menu that one of my other clients used. So we set this up for one salon here in Waterloo, Nebraska. Um, great salon, she offers a ton of different products and services. The products she did not use the menu for, but for her services she did. So here as we scroll through her website, you'll see the four main areas that she has, hair, skin, lashes, and for weddings. So you can click on each of these sections here to get to that particular service, or we also have them in the navigation panel. When you click on the navigation, she uses the page to kind of give some basic information, you know, about, you know, contact, et cetera. But this here is actually a menu block. So this is exactly what we just did. So she's got her pricing for all of her women's cut, men's cut, every type of service that she offers with hair. If you want to take a peek at what she wants to do, like lashes, maybe what they do for lashes, then you would just simply click on lashes. Same thing, and this is using the menu block. Um, it's obviously the, the, the fonts and things like that are customized for her, designed for her um, website, so that's all completely customizable so that it maintains the look and feel of your site. It's just a really great way to show off what you do and explain. So whether you're a photographer, whether you do have a smoothie shop or a, a restaurant, um, your massage parlor, even in my case, I could use it because I offer services. I just don't offer as many, but it's just a great way to kind of let people know exactly what you do, what's involved and what the pricing is in a nice organized way. So. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, we can always schedule a coaching call and I can help you get this thing all set up for you. Um, otherwise, I hope that you're having a great day and um, please feel free to keep checking out my channel. Hopefully I'll be sending out more and more tips to make your Squarespace website awesome. Have a great day.